Hi everyone. I had a few friends that went and listened to my latest YouTube guitar solo arrangements and they were thinking, man, it would sure be nice if you could explain what you did and make sense out of these arrangements and sort of move slower with them. So here's an attempt to do that. I'm going to do my favorite things and sort of walk you through that. Also know that on my website, and there's a link below, um, is the sheet music with tabs for this particular arrangement. So that would be sort of a plus to go along with this. So here we go. This is my favorite things. I start off with a, I, I, had a loop, I have a looper pedal, and I'm not going to do it right now, but that's how I did it. And I started off with this harmonics at the seventh fret. Sort of a pattern, and I loop that. And then after I got that loop, I just, just did this. This whole song, by the way, is an e, e minor or G major. So E minor. So that's sort of a that's sort of an E sus kind of thing. Then I got these fourths. I looped that. So I had that as a pad, and then underneath that I play the the I added my bass bass synth and played this melody that fits over that and it goes. Sorry. <laughs> and that's all in all in E minor. Um, the song is in three four meter, by the way. And and so one thing that's kind of neat to know is this first lick that I do. That, that's a really neat guitar voicing too if you were to play each of those notes as a chord. So it looks like this. And it's sort of like a E minor, it, it, it is, it's not sort of like, it is an actual E minor 11 9. And all I'm doing with my melody is I'm playing it with the notes separated. Okay, so that, that's sort of the intro of the song, and that actually it will serve as the exit of the song, too. Um, then I come into the melody of the song, and the melody of My Favorite Things is, it kind of outlines this real open sound. It's like an E minor, but with no third in it. So I play a chord, and it's an E2 chord, and then... I, then the next part of the melody comes, all you do is really add a C to that. You get what, it, what you end up getting is a C major 7 flat 5. So we have. Okay, and then at the very end of that phrase, I just do a 2 5. I'm heading to A minor, so I do a 2 5, getting to A minor. And actually, it's a 2. The five chord has a tritone substitution, so it's a B minor seven, B flat seven, flat five. So um, from the C major. Now it's just a two, five, one, we're in the key of G. And then it's a four dominant. So it's. Now the change here normally in the song would be F sharp half diminish. I'm sorry. Over that do 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 to a B7. But what I do, and, and this is kind of an interesting thing, there are major seven flat five chords, and if you um, if you I, I just like moving them around and, 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 and with the melody on top, and it creates a really cool thing. So I start on an F major 7 flat 5, and then I just move up. And at the very end, I put an F sharp 7 sharp 9 to a B7 sharp 5. So, so I'm for, sort of following the melody. love that sound. So coming from Okay, so that's how I get there. 
uh, the logic behind it? Uh, well, if you look at the baseline, it's all chromatic up, and, and it just flows really well right into that um, F sharp 7. Um, I don't know if there's any other logic other than that. I like, I like the way it sounds. Um, then I play the melody. This is the second A of the melody. Now I'm sort of reharmonizing it differently, and I'm going... So I'm going E minor, and now I'm going to go, I'm going to head downwards bass-wise. So that's the sort of the theme I'm thinking. And that's a, a D-sharp diminished chord with an, with an E in there too, which is sort of illegal, but I like the way that sounds too. Then it's an E minor, oh, so my bass is going down chromatically. E minor, 7 over D, and then... F sharp, uh, C sharp half diminished, and I like that voicing. That's a, it's a really easy one to play. So then I keep the bass moving down. Now I'm going to go C major seven. Um, um, so, so how do I do that? That's what I do. I walk the bass all the way down to A minor, and I also I make the bass movement at this point move um, not in dotted quarters but as in quarter notes I think I, I do something there's some sort of cool syncopation let's see yeah that I love that so that's C major 7 flat 5 B minor um, A sharp diminished to A minor now this next part is I'm, I'm doing from D7, I'm going to go chromatically down in bass notes, and I'm getting these D7s with some open strings. So it's like a D7, but then I have an open B string in there. And then on all these chords coming up, I have a bunch of open strings. And a C sharp with open B and E strings, so it gets a sharp 9. I'm saying. Then I play a C9, but with an open E. And then I go, um, see, so what is, oh, yeah. Then I go B minor 7 to B flat 7, B flat 9, sharp 11. So that, I like that. All right, then I'm back to A minor, D7. This is the same as the first time, first A. that same F sharp, I'm sorry, F major 7 flat 5 thing going up, flat 5 going all the way up, but I changed the melody at the very top of it. And I, I keep, I keep, the, the same, it's the same bass movement as it was before, but I changed the melody there, so. And then I go, so that's an F major 7, the six and then if I had time if I was doing it slower the next chord I would do is F sharp seven sharp nine flat five but but I found when it's I'm at, at tempo all I can get in is just the bass note and the melody but I like even that works out I think and then I then I get to a B7 flat nine so that again Here's the bridge of the song. So I think the way I did it, because the tempo was kind of up there, I didn't have time to get all this, but if I was moving slower, I would do this. It's, it's E minor, and I like that. E, to my, e minor, then with a sharp uh, five, same as C major seven over E, and then E minor six, so I'd go. But I think how I did it on the recording was just E minor. Then, it's, then, I, then I go F sharp, half diminished, but then I do a little lead-in bass there of A sharp, which is, turns it into an F sharp 7 over A sharp, sort of. So. Then I do an F triad over B, which is a fancy way of saying B7. Then B7 flat, uh, sharp 5. So that the, I think the normal way the tongue went. Da, 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 
so I'm just pretty much doing the same thing. Now this is going to go E minor, walking downwards, and I go E minor 9, I like that voicing, and I go E flat 7 with the 9th, D minor 11, and then this is the way I'm voicing the C sharp 7. I'm getting a regular basic C sharp 7 right here, but then with an open G, which gives it a flat 5, uh, and a B, which is reiterating the uh, flat 7. So really, the normal way the tongue would go, I would think, would be um, like that. And I'm just doing chromatic. Um, uh, let's see. But I'm getting it all here. And then that C major 7, I love this voice, and this is neat. I'm getting just one three, six, and then I have an open G, which is the five, uh, B, which is the seven, and then E, where the melody note is, those are open strings. That's a nice voicing. So, now, the regular song at this point, not even, let's see, I think it goes, Uh, I think it's just a real basic F sharp half diminished to B7, but this is an area that I really wanted some movement. So what I did is, instead of that F sharp, I, I went C, I went this whole thing. So it's it's starting on C sharp minor, and it's kind of neat because I have come from. major seven so now all of a sudden I jump up a half step and, it, and really it could be looked at as C sharp minor seven to F sharp seven this is an abbreviated way of doing of, of my harmonization then G minor seven to C seven then kind of an F sharp half diminished B seven to E minor that would be and then I just got gotten a little more fancy with that by going F sharp I'm sorry C sharp minor seven and I'm walking the bass up to an E9, F major 7 with a flat 5 and a 6. So, I, so you see I'm leading my bass line up to that F sharp 7. And I stay there. Then I now go to the G minor 7. But then I go, then I, I wanted some more tension there. So what I got are these, these are like major seven sharp five chords. First an A flat major seven, seven sharp five, to a B flat major seven sharp five. So. And then this is like a B minor seven sharp five. And now what, now what I'm doing is a thing where the bass notes are just gonna keep going up half steps. The melody's on top, and each of the chord is a fourth kind of a chord. So it's it's along this line. I'll show you. I'm just I'm just taking this C sharp minor seven sharp or, uh, eleven chord, all fourths basically, and keeping the top note the same. And that's even. And I'm just walking the chord up half steps, all the fourths below with the top note the same. It's a, it's a cool sound. Uh, uh, you've heard of stolen moments. It, it uses that same kind of a thing. So I go, let's see, C sharp minor back to the major seven sharp five. Then I go from B. So that's all those fourths again. Fourth chords heading upwards, melody does what it does, and everything fits in. And then, if I kept going, then I get to an F sharp diminished. Now I'm kind of heading back to E minor, trying to pull it back in. So I go F sharp diminished, E minor 9 over G. So the bass is still heading upwards. Then A minor 9, then B7. 
and then finally resolve it on E minor. So let's that again. I like that. Then I do E minor to F sharp minor over E minor. And the last little part I use is an E minor 11, D minor 9 over E, F sharp plus 7 over E, and then B7, flat 5. I don't think I played this on the recording, but that's what I wanted to do. I think I just did a regular B7, but I would like the flat 5 in there. Then I resolve to E, e minor 11. So one more time on that turnaround. Then I do my solo and I use the looper a little bit. I think I play it first, the first chorus, I play it over the chord changes of the tune. Then I use the looper. I forget where I, I came back somewhere on the tune, um, on the melody, and then I went to use the looper intro, kind of that whole thing. I use that as the exit of the song with the final harmonic at the very end. Just, the, I love that, no third in there. So that's it. Hope that made sense. Again, if you have an interest, and want to look at the sheet music, it's at the website with the link below. Thanks for listening. Bye-bye.